Welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm reviewing a 1990 through 2001 Mercedes SL500. Say that five times fast. So disgusting. We'll be fine. Let's party. the hood of this Mercedes SL500 is a 3.0 inline six put in around 322 horsepower with 288 foot pounds of torque the easiest way I can explain how this engine acts is just like a Honda once you hit four to five thousand rpms VTEC kicks in storage space on the other hand is pretty roomy not too bad maybe two luggages a very retro 90s look um everywhere you look you can see carpet 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 on that side carpet of course on that side and carpeted in the back getting inside it's a pretty roomy feel um storage on the other hand is near non to existence um you do have a little pocket here not too big maybe some napkins or something then the center console which is not that roomy also you will have all the cd players right here and then controls for the convertible which this is a convertible and a little container for some storage and then in the back uh, maybe a little bit more junk can probably fit back there but like i said this is more of a sports car back in the 90s and this will, this is enough power to get going. First initial reaction to this car, seats are very comfortable. They hold me in and they're also leather, so they're not really more racing seats. Uh, they're also heated. Throttle response is very garbage. Visibility, it's okay, it is a Mercedes. Um, a and B pillar is very, very well placed, not blocking a single sight, but more of the problem with the convertible because it's how it's placed that is blocking most of my sight. Uh, this car does have 154,000 miles. It also reads temperature, has ABS, mostly everything what a car has today, but very 90s looking. I would like to warm it up just a little bit before I hit on it, but it rides really smooth, pretty quiet in the cabin except for in the back. The convertible has like a little lip where air is coming in, so speeds above 50, kind of rowdy. I would recommend a hard top personally. After driving this around for a couple hours, I have seemed to develop a little pet peeves. Um, when I put my arm right here, it's hard plastic. Right here is not so bad on the um, center console, but on the door panel, it's it's really unacceptable for Mercedes standards today, of course. Another thing I have not very seemed to be fond of this car is, well, of course, the wind noise. It also tells me how much miles per gallon I, like, I am getting, and that's pretty, pretty good because you are able to average around 24 miles in this car and this is also in inline six so speaking of the engine let's let's just turn onto a back road and see what it has oh there goes VTEC oh that's 80 the minute this car has hit 4,000 RPM, you just feel a spurge of power kicking it. The brake's not so good, but it did slow us down, taking this turn. Because I'm sitting so low to this ground, the center of gravity in this car is very phenomenal. Going around, bends and curves, you barely feel it, not a lot of body roll. It, it, it's going great. But, of course, this is a 90s car, so you cannot be expecting a, a $200,000 Mercedes anymore out of this. The platform is very good. They do put massive V8s in this. 
the car does weigh around 3,500 pounds. And I'm going to be honest with you. While I'm driving, I don't feel it at all. It drives smooth. It takes off. And if I would recommend this for a beginner car, 100%. And if you also want to learn how to work on BMWs, Mercedes, Ferraris, anything German, Volkswagen, I recommend this car a thousand percent. No overheating issues. It has 150,000 miles. This car is also for sale. Um, link will be in the well, not link, but contact info will be in the description if you are interested in around a 1994 Mercedes SL 500. Will this be a grandpa or grandma's car? Eh, I wouldn't say because it is very, very comfy on the inside and has an LSD diff, has some power to it. I can tell you if a 16 year old wanted to go out and get this car, probably make it into a drift car, probably just go around and have some power this will be the car for you and they're not really that expensive and easy to work on well that's far by me but that wraps up my review of my 1994 Mercedes SL 500 if you guys enjoy please like the video leave a comment on the next car that you would like to see me review and I'll try my best thanks for watching Create lazy people I'm not impressed with You want something in light Then why don't you go and get it Speak louder than words do It's pretty quiet, isn't it?